Good evening, everyone. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Standing before you today to temporarily bid farewell to our son, Matthew, is one of the hardest things I ever had to do. Words cannot describe the pain, the deepest sorrow, and the incredible loss that my family and I are feeling. But I've prayed, along with hundreds of friends and family, from around the world, as far as India, Peru, and Kenya, that we all have the strength to accept and cope with the loss of this amazing young man. I'm Saji Daniel, and I'm Matthew's father. These are his twin sisters, Kayla and Brianna. They have offered to pinch it for me in case I'm not able to finish this eulogy. Unfortunately, his younger brother, Jaden, was unable to be here tonight. Matthew was born in Cleveland at Fairview Hospital. He grew up in Westlake and most recently was living in Los Angeles, working as a software programmer. He graduated from Baldwin Wallace College with a Bachelor of Arts degree. To those of you here who knew Matt, you are already aware of the amazing person he was in your hearts and memory. To those of you who are not as fortunate to cross paths with Matt's journey, hopefully I can do justice to paint a picture of the man he was. Over the past week, we have heard from Matt's friends all over the country, and we are deeply touched to find out how many people really loved and adored him. I know Matt would not want us to grieve him too long. He would want us to rather cherish all the great memories we all shared with him individually and as a family for 33 years. Matthew treasured spending time with his family, especially with his siblings. <clears throat> he lived all the way in Los Angeles and his sister Kayla lived in San Diego. He really looked forward to Kayla's visits every few weeks, along with her cat Kodak. I'd like to share a funny story. <clears throat> he called me several months ago and said, Dad, I went to play hockey, and my entire hockey bag in the locker room smelled. <laughs> we came to find out Kayla's cat Kodak <laughs> Apparently thought Matt's hockey bag was his new litter box. <laughs> it took several days of cleaning to eliminate the bad order. And even then, Matt was calm and never became angry with his sister. That's the kind of brother he was to all his siblings. Matthew adored and respected his mother, Lisa, immensely. Lisa understood Matt better than anyone. She was there every step of the way, guiding him and encouraging him with his dreams, passions, and independence. She believed in him always, and it's her unconditional love that had a profound impact on the essence of who Matt was today. She truly was a rock of the family. Hockey was one of Matt's favorite passions. He started playing when he was four and continued playing until last week. He played on three to four different teams every season in LA, of all places. I always look forward to taking him to his practices and games, even if it was early as 5 a.m. at times. Even though I traveled a lot, I made it a point of being at all his events and he truly appreciated me being there for him. We traveled all over with our hockey families and created a ton of amazing memories. Hockey undoubtedly helped Matt build self-confidence, teamwork, leadership skills, and shaping him into the man he was today. Matt's hobbies included computers, video games, skiing, music, art, history, reading, and photography. 
One of Matt's favorite people in the world was his grandma Rose. She inspired his, his appreciation for the arts, traveling, and most of all, his deep compassion for others. Matt will always be her sweet. He was a shy, quiet fellow with a dry, sarcastic sense of humor. We, some, see, we sometimes bickered about everything and anything. I would say, Matt, the sky is blue. And he would swear it was gray and yellow <laughs> and prove it to me with dad or the fall. Matt lived his life on his terms. He had strong convictions on what the world should look like. He was deeply knowledgeable about everything from history, politics, religion, to economics. And Matt could defend his position on topics with pure confidence and determination. He always stated his mind and stood firm in his beliefs. I am proud to say that I had a son who did not care what others thought and stood up for what he truly believed in and that willpower will always be remembered by all of us. Matthew, I know your time in this physical world was limited. However, I'm confident we will see you again. Meanwhile, please tell God a great big thank you for me. Tell him how grateful, lucky, <coughs> privileged and honored your mom and I feel that he chose us to be your parents. <clears throat> and I hope we made him proud. And most of all, we will continue to do our best with your siblings until we meet again. Loving and having you for 33 years was a true blessing. A close friend of mine last week shared this poem written by Henry Scott Holland. I would like to share that with you. <coughs> Death is nothing at all is a title. Here goes the poem. Death is nothing at all. I have only slipped away into the next room. I am I and you are you. Whatever we were to each other that we still are. Call me by my old familiar name. Speak to me in an easy way which we always used. Put no difference in your tone. Wear no forced air of solemnity or sorrow. Laugh as we always laughed at the little jokes we shared together. <coughs> Let my name ever be the household word that it always was. Let it be spoken without effect, without the trace of a shadow on it. Life means all that it ever meant. It is the same as it ever was. There is unbroken continuity. Why should I be out of mind because I'm out of sight? I'm waiting for you for an interval somewhere very near, just around the corner. Dad, mom, all is well. Lisa and I, our entire family, wish to express our heartfelt, heartfelt gratitude to all of those who have given us your love, support, thoughts, Amazing that you're all here, calls, prayers, and we are really deeply touched. My closing message to everyone here today is yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is a gift. So please squeeze the hand of your loved one and say you love them. Please cherish every moment and make new memories every day. Remember, Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Rest in peace, our son, our grandson, brother, and friend to all. We will all miss you tremendously. You will forever be in our hearts and spirits. We love you, Matthew, David, Daniel. Thank you. I can't believe I made it through it. So thank you, and, and I have a small, it's like a video that I like to share that a cousin of mine sent to me from India that I thought was very touching. So please take a moment to, to watch it. Thank you everyone for being here.